Hey, what's up? This is Ben with Wad Prep, and in this video, we are going to fix a very, very common error that we see in all Olympic lifts, specifically the snatch and the clean. And that's what we call the muted hip. So if you struggle with what a lot of people call the hip pop, hopefully this video will expose it, and we're gonna give you a couple quick tips that you can use to improve your performance. Really quick, if you haven't been there yet, make sure you go to wadprep.com where you can learn all about all of the free training that we offer. We have lots of free training guides to help you with all the CrossFit skills, so make sure you go there and download your free training guide today. So, CJ, let's talk about the muted hip or the lack of a hip hop. So we have a barbell here. I'm just gonna try to demo a couple lack of hip hop movements, okay? So I'm gonna do the snatch because I think it's an easier one to demo. So you have my grip. A lot of times what happens is people will snatch, they stand up, and then they lift the weight over their head, right? One more. Here's one, here's a clean. So what's happening here is I'm not getting full hip extension. Why is that important, CJ? Hip extension is important because it's the driving power of the bar overhead. Okay, we know we build momentum from the ground, uh, but what happens with the muted hip is a lot of people build all that momentum and they just keep on going and they're pulling well early, the bar is away from them usually and there's no triple extension. They don't get to what we call the power position and they're not able to create that hip force, driving force up with the bar, okay? And they end up just using all their upper body. So we lose a much stronger portion of our body to create power upward, and then we just basically use our arms. So if your bar tends to be swinging out in front of you, or if you have a tendency to really pull early, if anyone's told you that you're pulling early with your arms, it could be because you're muting your hip. So here's what it should look like, hopefully. Uh, again, my, my form isn't per perfect, but when I do a snatch, I should get full extension and then get the bar overhead, right? So if I'm not seeing, if I can't press pause in the middle of my lift in triple extension, hips extended, ankles extended, back, shoulders up, if I can't see myself in this position, you might be losing a lot of power. So in order to train this position and to get a snappy snatch, how can we practice? Yeah, so the first position is going to be teaching the power position and how to gain power there. So the power position, or the high hang, however you want to call it, is going to be knees forward and a vertical torso. So from here, there's pretty much no way for us to lose hip extension because there's no way we're going to basically upright row or muscle snatch. Okay, so, uh, so from here, he's just going to come straight up and he's going to power snatch. Yep, boom. So it's all hip, a little bit of pull, and again, up. Okay, so that's what we call the, a power snatch from the power position or high hang. Again, one more time, vertical torso. So all I'm focusing on up. is going straight up. You'll notice I'm not doing this, right? right? That's cheating, okay? If you're doing a true high hang, uh, not for necessarily maximal weight, but just to focus on eliminating your muted hip or gaining a hip hop, slight bend in the knees, vertical torso, and I'm just focusing on jumping straight up and then dropping underneath the bar. Right. Right, so that's gonna teach that you know, excessive hip extension position. The next one is gonna be pulling from blocks. A lot of the a main reason why we get a muted hip, again, is because we create so much momentum from the ground and a lot of people can just get away with using that momentum to take the bar up and overhead, okay? So when we go from blocks, what we do is, is we take away the ability to create that excessive momentum and put it more in our technique, getting back to this position and then going fully extended upward. From so pulling from blocks, like you mentioned, as you can see in this video, is where we're taking either true Olympic lifting blocks, or if you don't have those, you can stack plates to help elevate that bar. And you're just focusing on developing tension and pulling from that elevated position. So it's like you're forcing yourself to stop in the middle of your lift, and then you have to finish the lift and you can't really cheat. You can't bend your arms early. You can't do any excessive swinging that we often see from the hang snatch position. Now, 
It is a little bit dangerous. I wouldn't recommend doing very heavy weight with this, especially if you're using plates to stack on top of each other. You don't want to drop the bar and then have it bounce all over the gym because it hits the plates at an awkward angle. So just keep that in mind. But the bottom line here is we're trying to isolate this last bit of movement. We're trying to isolate the power position and if you can focus on really, really squeezing your butt. I mean, one cue that I even give people sometimes, and I do it before I lift, is before I lift, before I grab the bar, I literally squeeze my butt as tight as possible to tell my body, hey, this is what it feels like to get full hip extension. Like right now, I'm squeezing my butt cheeks as hard as I can, and then I bend down and grab the bar, and then I just hit that same position. And I know that if I feel that really tight squeeze of my butt, that I'm going to get full hip extension. I don't think you physically can squeeze your butt as tight as possible and not get full hip extension. No, right? you can't, no. So it's a, a cue that I've even given people in the past is, and I know it's gonna sound weird, Imagine you had like a nut, like a peanut, still in the shell, and it just happened to be in between your, your cheeks, so to speak. I want you to crack that nut. Don't forget it. Crack the nut every single time you do a snatch or a clean, and you will hopefully get that full hip extension. So one more tip that I want to give, and this is kind of like a result of a muted hip. If you don't get full extension with your hips, what'll happen is oftentimes your torso will be leaning forward, and in order to get the bar up above your head or up to that clean position, you're going to push the bar forward. So here's what it could look like. Say I'm doing a snatch and I have a muted hip. The bar has to swing way in front of my body in order to get overhead. I'll do it one more at full speed. Okay, see how far that bar came out in front of me? A really quick cue for your coach to do to you is to simply, CJ, will you do me the honors? you stand in front of the lifter. Now, I know what you're thinking, that's crazy. The lifter is moving heavy weight. Uh, I could get hit in the face with a barbell. This isn't something I recommend for just garage gym athletes like throwing barbells around with no supervision. But if you have a supervised coach, oftentimes what I'll do, CJ, is I'll actually stand, instead of in front of where the weights would be, I stand right in front of the bar. It's super awkward. I'm inside their bubble, so to speak, their personal space. And then I just say, hey, lift, try lifting. And they're gonna, Try scooting back, scooting back, don't let them. And then, CJ, do you trust me? Right, I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do my lift, and guess what? It's gonna naturally help me keep that barbell close because I'm gonna be afraid to hit the coach or hit whatever's in front of me with the bar. If you're a little bit too afraid to sacrifice your body and stand in front of the lifter, you can always take a PVC pipe or a dowel and hold it out in front. These are just a couple quick tips, drills, suggestions to help you understand if you have a muted hip and what to do about it, remember, crack that nut and then you will see your clean PRs, your snatch PRs increase. So if you need any more tips, if you want some more coaching, we have lots of free training guides, go to wadprep.com. Make sure you click subscribe, thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if I had way too much TMI in this video, it's okay. And your question of the day today, how many hours of sleep on average do you get per night? If it's not very high, then chances are that could be affecting your training more than anything else. Me personally, I always shoot for anywhere between seven and eight. Sometimes I get nine uh, if I don't set my alarm and I just sleep as long as I want. CJ, how about you? <laughs> uh, not as many as you've been. Uh, probably closer to that five or six range. Working on doing a little bit better. Well, there you have it, folks. So how many hours do you sleep? Leave it in the comments below and we will be back with more videos. Peace.